Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's time for me to do another of my 10 minute collages. Um, that was the one we did last time and today I'll be working on this page here. Um, I have been working with recently jelly prints and I've got lots of jelly print scraps so I am going to do a jelly print um, collage. Now I'm just looking for my brush, bear with me. There it is, and I need some gel medium to stick my things down. Let's stick that up at the top there. Don't know how much we'll need. Let's do that for now. You can't see it, but it's just above my page up here. And I've got scraps of jelly prints. These are the ones that I was using. I've got these, I've got these little bits of different ones, black and white bits. These are not jelly prints, but they're scraps that I've got on my desk that I was using for something else. And I've got lots of little bits as well that I've already sort of, bits and pieces of tissue that I've collaged on that have just been left. So I'm, I'm actually just gonna have a random uh, play with those. So, shall I set a timer? Probably wise, because it does Help me focus a little bit. Let's get it on 10. And we're off. Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some matte medium down everywhere. I'm going to apologise already because I know that I'm going to whack the camera with my paintbrush. I've got an extra long. I don't know why I've got a really long brush. Or maybe I should look for some slightly uh, smaller brushes for um, gluing and things because I do tend to knock into the camera. Right, I'm just going to start laying some things down. I'm not thinking about this at all. There's no pre-planning here. The only pre-planning is that I've decided I am going to do jelly prints. But that, that is as much as it goes. It doesn't really matter if it goes on the other page, I don't think. I was worried about it going on the other page, but it doesn't matter. Apologies for the noise. That's the uh, air ambulance going overhead. And uh, I've got the window open and the fan on because it's that hot here. Not often we say that in the UK, but it really, really is. Let's put that there. Not complaining. It's nice to have the heat literally the days the kids go back to school not that that affects me in any great way but you know you feel sorry for people who've had their kids all holiday and it's been quite gray and dreary and then as soon as they go back to school we literally have a heat wave turn that bit off stick that on like that right should be fairly mindful of the time because time does fly when you're having fun and doing this is fun and so I worry that I will just be sitting here gluing away and like 20 minutes will have passed and I'll still be sitting here gluing away. purple here that's a bit of that tell you what we'll do we'll put this bit of gold in first where's my page there and a bit of purple right I do want to use some of these because I think they're interesting which is you know the reason why i made them in the first place for interest so a bit going down there like that i think it's just a bit of ink it looks like other distress inks or uh could be what you call them brushos maybe not sure 
on book paper. Oh, a tiny bit there. Good. Stick that on there. Actually, I've got a really tiny bit here that I'll just I could just go on there like that. And I might not do much more than that, although I'm going to have to let that dry before I try and stick my st well, I can stick the stamp on, but I can't do my stamping as it were. Right, here's my little stamp that I thought I'd use. I could just pop it straight on there. That should be fine on there like that. But I've only used about five minutes by the looks of it. I've got more time that I could use. Um, do I want to add anything in that time? Do you know what? I don't know if I do. I might just have quite a simple one this time. This, let this dry and then I'll use my stamp. Probably, maybe down here. Or there, don't know. But probably down there and that will be it. And I'm not going to do any more. I can't really uh, cut the bits off, I think, till it's dry. So that is it. I'm going to leave that to dry. I will put my stamped um, postal cancellation stamp, whatever they're called, this thing stamp on there and then that will be my page I may go around the outside in black as well but I do need to wait for that to dry but I'm actually calling that my page for this times 10 minute collage thank you right I had five minutes left on the clock this is dry ish now I figured it just needed something else and I forgot to put any black and white on here so I think what I might do Let's use up a bit more of my time and I haven't got the timer on so I'm not gonna worry I'm just gonna add some contrast because I do think it makes a big difference um, I just break up a bit of some of that text as well uh, do we want any more we could just have a little bit down there a little bit there maybe like that and I also took the liberty of drawing and cutting out like a leaf silhouette which I think I will pop on there like that with my yuho let me just stick that brush in the water there we go so I just freehand drew that on some black card and then cut it out and I thought I'd hate it, but actually I'm not that displeased with it, so. My cutting out leaves a lot to be desired. There we go. I think I'm going to stick that on like that. Oh my god, that could, that could do. There we go. Still got to do my stamp. Surely I'm still in the 10 minutes. I haven't done the um, put the timer back on, but I'm sure that hasn't taken five minutes. And I'm going to go there with that. And that is it, I think. All done. But I think it needed something, otherwise, it just seemed a bit random. All the little bits of colour. Not that there's any great meaning in a leaf, but you know what I mean. Thank you very much for watching, stay safe and well and I'll see you again soon, bye for now.